There are different problem types. We're used to the typical problem types. We're used to four apples plus six apples equals how many? Or maybe 10 apples, uh, you gave six to a friend, how many are left? Okay, but there's many other problem types you can have. You can ask, this, uh, with the same numbers, you could ask, You've, you had 10 apples, and then you ate some, and now you have six left. How many did you eat? Oh, okay, so now I have to think about, I'm missing the, that part of the problem, the amount I ate, the, the subtract. It's not after the equal sign that I'm just going to, the situation would be 10 minus something equals um, 6. And then, here's a, here's a mind blower for kids especially. You had some apples, and then you ate 4. And now you've still got six left. How many did you start with? Whoa, now you have to think back to the start, or you have to think very carefully. So if I ate four and there's still six in front of me, ah, six is a part of the whole. Four is a part of the whole. I just need to find the whole. Ah, I'll just add those together. So the adding is easy. The interpreting the the situation is what's challenging about that. And kids that can answer all those different problem types are much more powerful thinkers than kids who haven't been challenged to think about how to apply mathematics in many different situations like that.